Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story, and I'm here with Tim. Tim, what's your last name? Lezinski. Lezinski. And we're here at the Midwest Car Exchange in Alsip, Illinois. Some of the cars we're showing here today, 24-year family passion of love for cars, and they have these cars here for you for sale. I'm actually going to feature one here today. So I'll grab the camera. Thank you, Eric, his brother, as I usually do. Come on back, Tim. Tell us what we have here today. A 1950 Buick Super. Uh, convertible. This is going to be uh, an exact, <laughs> I mean, spot on replica of what the car should be from the factory. Wow. Restored back to, or restored back to factory spec. This is, this is a parade. I mean, uh, look, look at this grill coming at you. I mean, it looks like a, uh, an English bulldog with his teeth out. I <laughs> mean, uh, what, uh, what showmanship this car has. Let me get a shot of that coming straight at you. Looking at you just like that. Wow. And uh, we've got, uh, we'll feature some of these things. We've got the Buick. Are these these road lights, like yeah, the correct. fog turn, lights? Turn signals, road lights, right, correct. Turn signals or fog lights? Uh, yeah, the fog lights, so these are going to be turn signals, correct? Turn signals up here? Yes. Turn signals. And what are the beautiful? See, I don't know everything. You know, That's I gotta ask right. questions. Look at the beautiful hood ornaments. On that that you could see through there that's just spectacular little things like the antenna coming off the center of the windshield obviously we've got a convertible there and uh, the beautiful bumpers and the big chrome the super was uh, look at this yeah, there's I think a little bit over 3,000 models um, this year made. Is that right? Yeah, not, not many at all. Well, let's move back and get an overall shot of the side of the car. And keep coming with me because we'll be walking for a little bit on all this right. one. Small boat. Wow, that looks spectacular. And I'm sure with the top down and the family in it, you can... It's spectacular. It's absolutely stunning looking car. You are definitely getting noticed and getting thumbs up every time you pull up in something like this. Without a doubt. Let me try to get a shot of the overall back. There we go. We'll let people meditate on that for a moment. Single exhaust, as you can see there. And these are the reverse lights here. And... With your hideaway is this key, a, obviously. Yeah, go ahead. Show me that. And there you go, your key. Go ahead. Beautiful. Nice. And the little tail lights with all the big back end and clearly where your gas goes in. The custom chrome piece there to show you where that goes. And the uh, let me have you open the door for me if you would. Of course. So option out. You have a 1950s so with all your power options. Um, this can actually be a couple year edition of this. It's dual, uh, dual side opening hood, so you oh, can really? actually open it from the left or the right. It doesn't open from the front. Um, you'll see that in a little bit, but it's a cool different style. I'm cool. There. And yeah, they. Uh, I wonder if these were, were hydraulic or. They are, and the hydraulic actually the pump is on the passenger side, and it goes along with this top. Um, that one pump functions both. Wow. So there's your your buttons. Let's take a look at the interior as we look at the back seat. That's the top comes down. That is a massive bench. So as we sit in here, and just the pageantry and the beautiful steering wheel, and the, this is clear, you can see through it. The wonderful gauges. And along with this one too, this was a push to start too, a push pedal start. So you turn the key end to your opposition. Actually, you leave it off. Prime the pedal a few times, click into the opposition, and then just press the gas pedal nearly to the floor, and it'll engage the starter. Is that right? Let's take a look at, look at this centerpiece here. One big chunk. You've got ashtrays up here on both sides. You've got your Buick radio, your heater, lighter, Yep, four ashtrays in the car. Naturally, every, everyone had to have an ashtray here. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's great. And the 
yeah. All right, let's uh, take a look at the beautiful top there. Let's open up the uh, the hood. Yeah, of course. So let's get this door closed. All right. And these things were actually odd, and they actually discontinued the hood because of the fact that if, let's say you open up the driver's side and close it, it didn't latch properly, and then you went to a pop the passenger side, the hood would actually just be completely shifting, and it actually could fall off the car and just gouge the paint on it. So they actually discontinued it, um, I want to say after four years. Wow. <laughs> Let's take a look at that from the front. There you go. It is. It's just, it's just wild looking. That's different from what we're used to today. And there you go. One big fireball Buick that we have here. I'm just kind of curious. You said it opens the other way too? It does. It runs off these latches right here. Okay, can we open the other side just to see the other side of the engine? Because obviously the other side is going to look a little different than this side. Let me do yeah. one more thing. I just want to get that piece right there. So people who are. That's all, like I said, once before, there. all the all factory right. stampings. Let's shut that. That side looks nice and tight. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. Your carburation, your intake, and uh, you know what, while we've got it, we're, we're obviously indoors. Let's start it, but show us how you start this thing. Since I already had the car started before, I don't need to prime it this time around, but okay. essentially just click her over to start. Got to get the starter to engage. Look at that. Listen how quiet. I wanted to start it just because, listen, listen to the exhaust. Hey, it just, it just hurts. You, you can barely hear it. All right, let's shut it off. There's your horn. Let's, uh, let's shut the hood. Have you, stand, have you stand next to it? Beautiful. Tim, stand right there. Thanks for sharing this car with us, and thanks for being on My Car Story, and I hope people get a passion for the passion that you have and display with these cars. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you, Luke.